morning to you our cherished viewers and welcome to the program it's my pleasure to bring you the first semi-final contest in this year's national science and math quiz competition competing today are presbyterian boys secondary school popularly known as presec and st peter's secondary school let's now meet our contestants Presec is to my right and represented by Daniel Ami Abuidi, Form 3. Michael Okankwe, Form 3. Alfred Solomon, SS3. St. Peter's is to my left and represented by Makashota, SS3. Bidia Kujin Fibans, SS3. Celeste Yabua, SS3. Gentlemen, you're welcome to the program. Viewers, these contestants have been consistent throughout the competition for this year, and at this point, it's difficult to say which school is going to emerge a winner. We wish them all the best as we move on to round one. For this part of the round, you have, for this part of the contest, you have 15 seconds to give me an answer. Your question, Presec, what is the unit of resistivity? Daniel. Omita. Omita. St. Peter's, what is the angle between the magnetic meridian and the geographic meridian called? Shelter. Angle of declination. It's angle of declination. <laughs> Find the coordinates of the points of the intersection of the line with the given equation on the axis. Preset boys, y equals 2x plus 5. Yes, Michael. On the y axis, y is equal to x equal to 5. Sorry, on the y axis, y is equal to 5, and on x axis, x equal to minus 5 over 2. Find the coordinates of the points. Yes, Alfred. We have 0 and minus 5 over 2, and then 5 and then 0. You have one last chance, Michael. It is 0 and 5, and then minus 5 over 2, 0. That is correct. <laughs> St. Peter's 2x plus 3y equals 12. Yes, Ernest. We have uh, 6, 0, 0, 4. That is correct. <laughs> you have only one attempt for this set of questions per sec. By what means or method can a liquid be distilled below its normal boiling point? Yes, Michael. By lowering the pressure. Would you want to take that for a bonus, NS? Refluxing. And what is refluxing? I'll not give the mark. It's by distillation under vacuum. Distillation under vacuum. Your major question, St. Peter, is by what physical method can a mixture of two liquids be separated into pure components? Only one attempt. By what physical method can a mixture of two liquids be separated into pure components? Shelter. Fractional distillation. Fractional distillation. It's by fractional distillation or column chromatography. Your question, Presec. Some mammals and insects excrete chemical substances into the environment as a signal to other members of the same species. 
These chemicals, for example, can attract a mate. What name is given to these chemicals which can act as sex attractants? Daniel. Pheromones. Pheromones or ectohormones. St. Peter's. What name is given to the group of male sex hormones that are responsible for the growth and function of male sexual organs? NS2. Androgens. Androgens. <laughs> Only one attempt per sec. Centripetal acceleration can be expressed in terms of the radius r of a circle and the period t. By checking the units, which of the following expressions is the right combination of t and r? A, t squared over r, B, r over t squared, C, t squared r, D, r squared over t squared. Alfred? r over t squared. Yes, r over t squared. <laughs> St. Peter's, what is the relationship between angular velocity omega and the linear velocity v for a particle moving in a circular path of radius r? Only one attempt. Yes, Ernest. Evans. V is called omega r. That is correct. <laughs> Presec, given that half x plus one third y equals x, find the ratio of x to y. Given that half x plus one third y equals x, find the ratio of x to y. Yes, Michael. Three is to two. X to y. Is two is to three. St. Peter's, given that x plus two third y equals four over three y, find the ratio of x to y. Yes, shelter. Three is to two. X to y. Two is to three. It's two is to three. Presec, only one attempt. Name the product's form when lithium trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Michael. Lithium oxide, nitrogen, 2 oxide, and oxygen. And I said only one attempt. I can only give you two marks. It's lithium 1 oxide, oxygen gas, and nitrogen 4 oxide. St. Peter's, your question. Name the product's form when sodium trioxonitrate 5 is heated. Only one attempt. Yes, Ernest. Sodium oxide, nitrogen 4 oxide, and oxygen gas. You get one out of three. <laughs> you have sodium dioxonitrate 3 and oxygen gas. Your question presec. Only one attempt. Fill in the blanks in the following statement. The main stalk of a plant that bears the flowers is called the blank, whilst the stalk that attaches each flower to the main stalk is called blank. Only one attempt. Yes, Michael. The peduncle and then the pedicel. That is correct. <laughs> The stalk that joins a leaf to a stem is called blank, while the angle between this leaf stalk and the stem is called blank. Yes, Ernest. The petiole and the axle. That is correct. <laughs> that brings us to the end of round one. <laughs> As a little girl, my dream was to become a doctor. I always wanted to help the sick. Now I'm in the dental school together with others who had similar dreams. The support from the Ghana Education Trust Fund has made things a lot better. Their support has helped provide new equipment, teaching aids, improved facilities, and our students' loans. We're studying hard, 
and we know that we can continue to count on support from Get Funded to turn our dreams into reality. At the end of the first round, here are the scores. Presbyterian Boys Secondary School has 20 points. St. Peter's Secondary School has 22 points. Let's move on to round two. You have 30 seconds for questions that involve calculation and 15 seconds for questions that do not. We start with you, St. Peter's, but there's a common statement to both schools. In the manufacture of soap from fats and oils, hot saturated sodium chloride solution is added to the product mixture of saponification. St. Peter's, what is the name of the process of adding sodium chloride to the mixture? Ernest. Salting out. Salting out. Is <laughs> Resec, what is the purpose of this step? Alfred. It is to remove the glycerol and make the soup a hard soup. Yes, Daniel. To remove other impurities and then to, to precipitate the soup. So I'll that. give you the name. Your question, St. Peter's. The experienced housewife puts a metal spoon into a ceramic cup before pouring hot water into it. Why? Evans? This is because the metal spoon is a very good conductor, so it conducts most of the heat away to prevent the ceramic pot from cracking. Since that is correct. <laughs> Presec, it is intended to pour hot water into a ceramic cup. It is intended to pour hot water into a ceramic cup, which is safer to use, a thin-walled cup or a thick-walled cup. Explain. Yes, Daniel. A thin-walled cup is needed because since it is thin, the heat is conducted very fast to the environment. But if you use a thick-walled cup, there is uh, regular expansion, and this sets up a strain in the uh, thick-walled cup and cracks the cup. So the thin-walled cup is not I'll give you some <laughs> St. Peter's, give me three methods by which food chains can be determined. Evans? Uh, by direct observation and by uh, traces, by radioactive traces. And, and also by dissection. That is correct. <laughs> so you directly observe the feeding habits of the species in the community. You could dissect the animals to obtain samples of their stomach contents, or you could follow the path of a radioactively labeled food substance in the field. That was good. Presec your question. In which type of community of animals does the capture, mark, release, recapture method for determining the population of a species of animals work best, and why? Yes, Daniel. First, moving animals in an enclosed environment. Why? So that when the animals are captured and they are, because they are moving fast, when they are captured and they are marked, they don't move away from the environment. And so when there is another resampling, they can be captured again to determine their population size. I'll give you two out of three. <laughs> and that's because you mentioned that they have to be enclosed. The fast moving doesn't really come in. It works best in a community where the movement of the animals is limited by barriers, such as aquatic animals in a pond or weevils in a sack. And this is because you want the chance of recapturing an animal to be the same. An animal that you have captured and marked, you want the chance of recapturing that animal to be the same as the chance of capturing one that hasn't been marked at all. Now your question, St. Peter's. Make X the subject of the relation. Make X the subject of the relation. Y equals K over X squared plus C. Yes, Evans. X squared is equal to K over Y minus C. You could do better than that. NS. X is equal to root of K over Y minus C. That is correct. <laughs> Presec. Make x the subject of the relation x over x minus a 
equals x minus b over x minus c. Yes, Alfred. x is equal to b squared all over b plus. x is equal to b squared all over b. It is not true. For a bonus, yes, shelter. Um, x is equal to a b all over minus a minus b minus c. Give me that again. X is equal to a b all over minus c minus b minus a. Minus a minus, minus b, b minus, minus c. c. No, no, no. That is not true. We have. We have x equals a b over a plus b minus c. Your question, St. Peter's. Explain why magnesium trioxocarbonate decomposes to the oxide when heated. Explain why magnesium trioxocarbonate decomposes to the oxide when heated. Yes, shelter. Uh, this because when the heat is applied, the uh, magnesium oxide that is formed, there's a, uh, an ionic bond between the magnesium and the oxygen, which is stable. I'll give you the mic. <laughs> Present your question. Aluminium chloride dissolves in water to give an acidic solution. I'll take that again. Aluminium chloride dissolves in water to give an acidic solution. Explain how the acidic solution is formed. Yes, Daniel. When the aluminum fluoride is hydrolyzed, because the aluminum has a higher cationic charge, it undergoes cationic hydrolysis, producing XH8O plus ions, which makes the solution acidic. Michael, do you have anything to say to that? The aluminum cation is released in the solution is small in size, and it undergoes hydration after that. It also undergoes hydrolysis, which leads to the breaking of OH bonds, and then excess hydrogen ions. Will be so the aluminum ion first forms a hydrated ion, which then ionizes to give you the hydrozonium ions. Your question, St. Peter's. Which are easier to demonstrate under a microscope? Plant cells or cells from animal tissue? Give me two reasons for your answer. Ernest. Plant cells are easier to demonstrate. This is because they are larger, they have a definite cell wall, and this they can be distinguished from each other very easily. That is true. <laughs> Presec, which of the following plants can grow in soils deficient in nitrates? Give me a reason for your answer. A, begonia, B, hibiscus, C, bougainvillea, D, nepenthes, and E, tridax. Alfred. Nepenthes. This is because Nepenthes is an insectivorous plant and it's, it's able to obtain the nitrates by capturing insects and digesting them. That is correct. That is correct. A and B are events in a sample space S. If probability of A equals 0 0.5 and probability of B equals 0 0.4, find probability of A union B given that A and B are independent. 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is correct. Present <laughs> your question. And again, A and B are events in a sample space S. If probability of A equals 0 0.45 and probability of B equals 0 0.65, find probability of A intersect B if probability of A union B equals 0 0.8. Yes, Alfred. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. <laughs> you have only one attempt for this set of questions. St. Peter's secondary. When purchasing an air conditioner, what information should you look for to decide if it will adequately cool the room you have in mind? Yes, Ernest. The current the air condition is able to absorb, and then also the, uh, the circulatory power of the air condition. I said only one attempt. I'll pass it on for a bonus. Yes, Alfred. 
the heat capacity, the amount of heat the air conditioner is able to absorb in a particular room. You know. All you have to look out for is the power rating. The power rating. Your question, Prisik. You have a glass of water and a glass of alcoholic beverage. The two are of the same quantity and are at the same temperature. If you add the same quantity of ice cubes to the water and to the beverage, which one will cool faster and why? Michael. The alcoholic beverage will cool faster because alcoholic beverage has a small specific heat capacity, so it can absorb or it can lose a little heat to cause a great change in temperature. So it will cool faster than water, which can have to lose a lot of heat for it to change by I'll unit let temperature. It come. Viewers, that brings us to the end of round two. As I start my day, I know they are counting on me. I am a truck driver for the Ghana Education Trust Fund. My job is to supply books to schools across the country. Whenever I see the school kids, my mind goes back to my school days. I too had hopes and dreams that sadly never came to pass. I made a firm promise to myself that if I couldn't chase my dreams, I would make sure that that is good. Seeing these happy kids simply warms my heart. It's happening every day, and I'm proud to be part of Get Fun. Get Fund, we Get Fund, we invest in tomorrow's leaders. At the end of the second round, here are the scores. Prisek has 40 points, St. Peter's has 43 points. <laughs> So the contestants from St. Peter's are maintaining their lead. Let's find out how well they do that as we move on to round three. Both schools are posed with the same problem to be attempted in three minutes. Contestants, please turn over your sheets. I'll read the problem of the day. Express as a single trigonometric ratio. Hint, tan 45 degrees equals one. One or I, 1 plus tan x all over 1 minus tan x. I, I, 2 sine x cos x all over cos squared x minus sine squared x. And I, 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 sine x cos 60 degrees minus cos x sine 60 degrees. That viewers is the problem of the day. <laughs> lies in the hands of our children. Children today, leaders tomorrow. And education holds the key. Without the proper learning environment, these children may never reach their full potential. And it should not be that way. It looks like what? The boss looks that is where the Ghana Education Trust Fund steps in so that these children can have access to basic facilities and enjoy the learning experience. Gradually, one by one, we are removing the barriers in the way of quality basic education. We will continue so they too can continue. Get Fund. We invest in tomorrow's leaders.
Your welcome back viewers. Our contestants are ready with their solutions and will now present them to us. Contestants, for your solutions, let's go through what I have. You are to express as a single trigonometric ratio. So we had 1 plus tan x all over 1 minus tan x. And we were giving a hint that tan 45 degrees equals 1. And therefore, that equals tan 45 plus tan x all over 1 minus tan 45 tan x. And that equals tan 45 degrees plus x. 2 sine x cos x all over cos squared x minus sine squared x is equal to sine 2x over cos 2x. And that equals tan 2x. And the third one, sine x cos 60 degrees minus cos x sine 60 degrees is the same as sine of x minus 60 degrees. And that's all we were expecting from the contestants. Let's look at the solution from Saint, um, Presec. The solution from Presec. You'll notice that Presec got everything right. They get 10 out of 10. Let's also look at the solution from St. Peter's. They understood exactly what they were doing. For I, I, and I, 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 everything was right. For I, instead of tan 45 degrees plus x, they had tan 45 degrees minus x. I deducted one mark. They get nine. <laughs> Let's move on to round four. You have 30 seconds for most questions and 15 seconds for questions that do not involve calculation. We start with you, Presec. If x squared plus y squared minus 6xy equals 10, find dy dx. Michael. Y dx equals 6y minus 2x all over 2y minus 6x. I'll not take that. Yes, Daniel. Y dx is equal to 3x plus x all over 3 minus 2. Sorry, you've been bailed out. <laughs> For a bonus, Evans. Okay. For a bonus, yes, Evans. Y dx is equal to 3y minus 1 all over y minus 3x. No. <laughs> dx is x minus 3y all over 3x minus y. Your own question, St. Peter's. If x cubed plus y squared plus x squared y equals 7, find dy dx. Yes, Evans. <laughs> yes, Evans. You are the x cos minus 2xy minus 3x all over 2y plus x squared. No. You are yes. the x cos y squared minus 3x squared all over 2x plus x squared. You have one last chance. You are the x. Yes, Dennis. You are the x is minus 2xy minus 3x squared all over 2y plus x squared. Again. Dy dx is minus 2xy minus 3x squared all over 2y plus x squared. And that's correct. Your major question, Presec. 
which of the following is not a characteristic of all organisms in the phylum nematoda? A, parasitic lifestyle, B, unsegmented body, C, bilaterally symmetrical body, D, presence of a tough outer cuticle, and E, presence of a mouth and an anus. Alfred. Parasitic lifestyle. That is correct. <laughs> Only one attempt, St. Peter's. Which of the following organisms does not belong to the kingdom Protoctista? A, Polystomella, B, Phytophthora, C, Spirogyra, D, Amoeba, E, Obelia. Yes, Ernest. Obelia. Obelia is <laughs> Presec. The solubility of a salt in water is 15 grams per 100 cm cubed of solution at 45 degrees Celsius. How much water at 45 degrees Celsius is to be added to a 250 cm cube mixture of water and 50 grams of the salt at 45 degrees Celsius in order to just dissolve all the solids? Yes, Michael. 500 cm cube. No. Yes, Alfred. 83 EMQ. Is that the best you could get? 83.33. It's 83.3. <laughs> St. Peter's. A salt has the solubilities of 12 grams and 31 grams per 100 cm cubed at 30 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius, respectively. How much solid will precipitate if a 300 cm cube saturated solution at 50 degrees Celsius is cooled to 30 degrees? Yes, Ernest. No, it's not true. Shelter? 57 grams. It's 57. There's a preamble to both schools. A force of 500 newtons directed at 60 degrees above the horizontal pulls a 100 kilogram object 20 meters along the horizontal ground. Presec, what is the work done by the force? Alfred. 5,000. It's 5,000 meters. St. Peter's, if the object starts from rest and has a speed of 4 meters per second at the 20 meter mark, how large is the friction? Yes, Ivan. 40 newtons. 40 newtons is correct. Your question, Presec. In which of the following organisms would you find proglottids? Only one attempt. A, Schistosoma, B, Ascaris, C, Onchoceca, D, Tinea, E, Tubifex. Yes, Daniel. Tinea. Tinea is correct. St. Peter's, in which of the following organisms would you find a radula? Only one attempt. A, lobster. B, brittle star. C, octopus. D, centipede. And E, earthworm. NS. Octopus. Octopus is <laughs> Preset, listen attentively. Consider the following bond energies in kilojoule per mole. Carbon single bond hydrogen, 410. Carbon single bond chlorine, 350. Chlorine single bond chlorine, 240. Hydrogen single bond chlorine, 430. Use the bond energies to calculate the enthalpy of reaction when a mole of methane is converted to chloromethane and HCl. Michael. Minus 370. It is not true. Ah. Was that the bell? For a bonus, St. Peter's. 
Yes, shelter. Minus two ten kilojoules. No, it's minus one thirty kilojoules per mole. Minus one thirty kilojoules per mole. Your own question, Saint Peter's. Use the following bond energies to calculate the enthalpy change for the aerial oxidation of benzaldehyde to benzoic acid. Oxygen double bond oxygen, 500. Carbon single bond hydrogen, 410. Carbon single bond oxygen, 360. And oxygen single bond hydrogen, 460. Shelter. Minus 270 kilojoules per mole. It's not true. For a bonus, Michael. Minus 410 kilojoules per mole. No. It's minus 160 kilojoules per mole. In the first case, in the first case, the bonds that are broken are CH, C single bond H, and CL, CL. And the bonds made are CCL and HCL. In the second case, you have, when you write your balance equation, you have two moles of benzaldehyde reacting with oxygen to give you two moles of benzoic acid. So the bonds broken are two carbon single bond hydrogen and the oxygen double bond oxygen. And the bonds made are 2CO and 2OH. So you find the enthalpy for that to be negative 320. You find the enthalpy per mole, which is negative 320 divided by 2. That should give you negative 160 kilojoule per mole. Let's go on. There's a common preamble. A pendulum ball of mass 0.05 kilograms is suspended by a cord of length 2.0 meters. The ball is pulled to one side so that the cord makes an angle of 53 degrees to the vertical and then released. Cause 53 degrees equals 0.6. Take G to be 10 meters per second squared. Preserve what is its maximum potential energy above its lowest point. Alfred. 0 0.6. It is not 0 0.6. Yes, Daniel. 6. It is not 6. Michael, last chance. 0 0.36. No. 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 I will not take 0 0.36. Yes, St. Peter's for a bonus. Ernest. Uh, 0 0.6. No. Yes. If you, if you work out the arithmetic, it comes to 0 0.5 times 0 0.8, which is exactly 0 0.4 joules. Your question, St. Peter's, given that the maximum potential energy at the lowest point is 0 0.4 joules, what is the speed of the ball at the lowest point? Neglect friction. Shelter. Four meters per second. It's four meters. <laughs> Let's take the last set of questions for this round. Preserve your question. Express in partial fractions. X minus two all over X squared minus five X plus four. X minus two 
over x squared minus 5x plus 4. x squared minus 5x plus 4 is your denominator. Yes, Alfred. 1 over 3x minus 1 plus 2 over 3x minus 4. Again. 1 over 3x minus 1 plus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3x minus 4. That is correct. St. Peter's expressing partial fractions x minus 1 over x squared minus 4. Your denominator is x squared minus 4. That is correct. Viewers, that brings us to the end of round four. As a little girl, my dream was to become a doctor. I always wanted to help the sick. Now I'm in the dental school together with others who had similar dreams. The support from the Ghana Education Trust Fund has made things a lot better. Their support has helped provide new equipment, teaching aids, improved facilities, and our student loans. We're studying hard. And we know that we can continue to count on support from Get Fund to turn our dreams into reality. At the end of the fourth round, here are the scores. Presec has 65 points, St. Peter's has 73 points. <laughs> At this point, I'd want to remind viewers that Presec boys are actually our reigning champions, and St. Peter's have given them quite a challenge till this point. Are they going to allow them to knock them out at this point, or are they going to redeem their image? Let's find out as we take the first part of round five. You have 10 seconds to say whether the statement I make to your school is true or false. Remember, we deduct a mark from your score for an incorrect answer. Good luck to both schools. Your statement, St. Peter's. When a ray of light strikes a glass surface from the air, it is totally reflected. Yes, Ivan. False. That is correct. Presec, sine of negative pi equals sine pi. Yes, Alfred. It's false. I'm sorry, it is true. <laughs> St. Peter's, your statement. The main function of the rhizoids of a moss plant is to absorb water. Yes, shelter. False. That is correct, that is false. Presec, in the ray model of light, a ray represents a wave front in a plane wave. Yes, Daniel. It's true. I'm sorry. St. Peter's, your statement. There are three significant figures in 0 0.62. Delta. False. That is correct. That is Presec, brown algae do not contain chlorophyll. Brown algae do not contain chlorophyll. Daniel? It's false. That is correct. That is false. <laughs> St. Peter's, the period of y equals sine 3x is 120 degrees or 2 pi over 3. Shelter. 
sir. True. That is correct. Sir. Preset 5.0 has one significant figure only. Daniel. It's true. I'm sorry. St. Peter's, your statement. Fucus is an example of fu yes, Fucus is an example of brown algae. Yes, Ernest. True. That is correct. <laughs> Presec tan 2x equals 2 tan x all over 1 plus tan squared x. Alfred. It's false. That is correct. That is false. St. Peter's, the work done in moving a charge between two points that are at the same potential is zero. Yes, Ivan. True. That is correct. That is true. <laughs> Ionic compounds always have higher melting points than covalent compounds. Michael, that is correct, that is correct. <laughs> cos 2x equals cos squared x plus sine squared x. NS, yes, NS, oh. that is correct. <laughs> Presec, pneumatophores are negatively geotropic. Daniel, it's true. that is correct, that is true. <laughs> St. Peter's, the first ionization energy of hydrogen is much larger than that of lithium. Yes, Shelter, true. that is correct. <laughs> Your final statement, Presec, the equivalent capacitance of capacitors connected in parallel is larger than any of the individual capacitances. Alfred. It's true. That is correct. <laughs> and now to the second part of round five. I'll be reading the clues to four riddles both schools are competing to be the first to solve the riddle. When they are ready with their solutions, they call my attention by ringing the bells in front of them. Let's hear the bell from Presec. Let's hear the bell from St. Peter's. Let's take the first riddle. I am an arithmetic of cyclic events. With me, a whole number is identified by its remainder when divided by a fixed number. Alfred. The remainder theory. Let's go on, St. Peter's. I am associated with the occurrence of market days, birthdays, and so on. You can say I am a type of arithmetic. Who am I? Who am I? Yes, Shelter. Modular arithmetic. It's modular. <laughs> Let's take the second riddle. I am a polypeptide hormone consisting of 27 amino acids. I was the first substance to be described as a hormone in 1902. Alfred. Secretive. It's secretive. Preset <laughs> gets four points for that effort. Let's take the third riddle. My twin brother is inward looking. Hence, scientists refer to him as center seeking. Yes, shelter. Centrifugal force. It's centrifugal. <laughs> Viewers, the teachers get five marks for that effort. Let's take the final riddle. I am a scientific law. I have been in force a little over two centuries. I am 
enforce discipline among gaseous substances in an enclosed vessel. Since I hate to see peer pressure among gases, yes, Michael. Dalton's law of partial pressure. It's Dalton's law of partial pressure. gets another three points for that effort and that brings us to the end of round five. The future lies in the hands of our children. Children today, leaders tomorrow. In education holds the key. Without the proper learning environment, these children may never reach their full potential. And it should not be that way. It looks like what? The boss looks that is where the Ghana Education Trust Fund steps in. So that these children can have access to basic facilities and enjoy the learning experience. Gradually, one by one, we are removing the barriers in the way of quality basic education. We will continue, so they too can continue. Get Fund. We invest in tomorrow's leaders. At the end of this exciting contest, here are the scores. Presbyterian Boys Secondary School Pretech has 79 points. St. Peter's Secondary School has 97 points. Viewers are already champions have been defeated by St. Peter's Secondary School. I'm sorry, Presex, it's obvious that you met a tougher team today. I'm really sorry. We'll see you next two weeks when you compete for third and fourth position. Congratulations, St. Peter's. You are the team to watch. I'll see you at the finals. Viewers, next week I'll bring you the other semi-final contest between Penta College and Achimota School. If you enjoy this one, don't miss the next. Enjoy your weekend. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.